So that's the kind of stuff I, I sit there and I think about something old and then mixing it with something new. Isn't that what they used to do when they get when they get married, right? You take something old, something new, and then something blue. <laughs> right? Yep. I don't have too much stuff that's blue. But I feel like just taking something old and making it work. Like these cameras you see right here, like I said, this, my goal on this one is this is going to be LED based when I get done with it. It's going to have LEDs behind here. Still going to have the big bulb. Still going to have the big bulb. It's going to have the LEDs behind here giving you the light. It's going to have the sound effects of this camera. Now, you remember this camera, so you know what it used to sound like. What how, you? how did it sound? Okay, and then it was a, like a puff of smoke. No. Didn't the, didn't the, no. Didn't the bubs bust? No. I well, they weren't supposed to. <laughs> then they bust, they, they, they pop, and no. you had to put another bulb in there? Oh, yes, yes. So they were one use bulbs. <laughs> The lamps. You remember that, right? Yeah. Okay. So by, I don't wanna, the, uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, they were one use lamps. Right. Yeah. So I what I did, I went to the store yesterday, 99 cent store, and I found a bub and I stuck it in there. That's not the right bub. It didn't have a bub in there. So I went to the 99 cent store and I bought that's a 120 volt bub. <laughs> and I just took some, some gaff tape and stuck it in there to give you that look. Okay? But eventually next week or whenever I get start working on this, it's gonna have LEDs behind that bub and it's gonna shoot out. And it's gonna be I'll, I'll be I'll be coming through here and it'll be I'll have flashes of light and I'll have um, constant light as well. I have it where I can just turn it on and this is just a bright light and maybe filters and things like that because I want to put this to use. I, I'm not going to be putting it to use the way you used to put it to use with the film exposure. I'm not going to be doing all that, but I want to be able to um, do video with it. I want to do, if they're, if they're doing, like you said, if they're taking this little body camera right now and they're building it onto a rig and they're adding microphones and voice recorders and, and monitors, why can't we do the same thing with this? Why can't I, why can't I put this on a rig? And I actually have a rig. I have a rig with a matte box and all that. Uh, pro, pro aim, right? Okay. You're in a pro aim. So I have a pro aim rig. That's a good idea. I might go home and take my. I got a JVC camera on there right now. I might take that camera off and put this on there. What? Oh, oh your phone? Okay. So we're going to sign off KTFC Channel 63. Your boy Tony from Cali Reality here at the NAB 2014. I'm here with these nice folks here from. Where are you guys from? San Francisco. San Francisco. We're all family. I'm from Sacramento. They're from San Francisco. So we're in the same neighborhood. We're going to sign off KTSC Channel 63, Old School TV. And we out. This is perfect. I mean, I knew somebody of course knew, I am. I knew somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you got the right guy. I knew somebody would know about it. Get him on here. Getting lined up. Let me get him right here. Hey, I'm gonna let you hold the mic. You hold the mic over there. Okay. And just we'll ask him a couple questions about it. Okay. He knows about it. All right. And we're recording this here. Recording. I, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Let me get over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, your boy Tony from Cali, I'm out here at B&H. We got one of the main guys that knows about these old school cameras. Are you going to tell us a little bit about it? He used to have one of these. Tell, go ahead and tell us a little bit about it. Well, this this is a speed graphic. It was the ultimate camera for news people and uh, uh, the camera to take to anywhere because you had your own power source for light and uh, diff different formats. Uh, you packed your film in a film canister in here. Uh, you also had a multi canister that fit. There's uh, several different ways of looking at the picture this way, through here, so you can compose it. Wow. And uh, then the biggest thing was you you focused it by moving this lever here. Yeah, up, back and forth. Right. And this was called your bellow, right? Uh, am That's I a bellows. It's a bellow? Your bellows. Okay. And the biggest thing that always wore on it was the bellows because you used yeah, it a lot. Yeah, replace those. Right. Wow. And How much did these cameras uh, retail for? Uh, these were very expensive. They were about four or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars uh, before World War II. So what year was that? Thirties and forties. Thirties and forties. Okay. So I bought this for two hundred dollars on eBay. Yeah. Was that a good? Pretty good deal. It's an excellent deal, but the biggest problem is where you're going to find the plate, the film. You can't. That's right. What I did is now, I bought and and they they Polaroid made play, uh, films for this also. Okay. And uh, it's just. I think you know. There's a couple guys that are actually still shooting with these. Oh yeah. They, I think you can still buy film. I yeah. don't know where. Check Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then this is uh, your different uh, settings uh, for. Uh, uh, it was an automatic. Okay. You had to do check your settings. This is the speed. This is the. Uh, uh, 
F stops. Okay. And uh, I forget what this was. What? But the, the, it all has that. And then there's a cocking mechanism here. Wow. Okay. But you remember this camera very, very well, huh? Well, I I remember it well, but no. <laughs> see, and then also you were able to remove this and change the uh, yeah, you the, can change the lenses. lenses. You can't change those. I seen that. Yeah. I actually seen that. I was gonna I was gonna see if I could get one of the bigger lenses and put on there. I yeah. thought that would be be kind of cool. See, what I do is I actually got a TV show. It's called Old School TV, uh, and we re we bring back retro cameras, old cameras, and recorders, and and we take it and we'll add something new to it. Maybe Bluetooth technology. Uh -huh. Maybe with this camera. Yeah. I'm going to convert this to a high definition camera. What do you think about that? Well, it all depends on what your back is. No. The, the front is good. Well, what we're going to do is we're using basically the body, the body, body of the camera. Right. But we're going to put another a high definition camera. We're going to build it into this. Oh, okay. And then the, the light here, you see this bub here? This right. is not the original bub. No. We're actually going to put an LED system in there. Okay. So it's going to be a bright LED system. Yeah. Actually, what you also had was color film. Uh, if you use color film, you got a blue bulb okay. that yeah. flashed. I remember seeing one time only. And that was it? Yeah. It, it, you got the small, that's the format I had. Okay. That small one. And it made a uh, it made a big puff. This one right here? Yeah. I have the small one. The small format. These are hard to find. You guys don't have these anymore. You guys have, any, have these at B&H? I think B&H started selling these back in the day. I don't know what year. Did you guys sell these? It was the 30s. It was the 30s? B&H started with these, and that's where we're bringing it all back. We got the new the new technology, but this right here. That, that's the format I had. This is the format you had? This was the 4 by this is the 4 by 5 This is the big bit, yeah. 4 by 5 and this, this was the... Well, this was, was uh, yeah. But this is the, format. yeah, it was cheaper to shoot when I was a kid. <laughs> all right. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Thank you so much. That's what, I appreciate that. That's bringing back some retro technology of how we used to do things. Um, Tony from Cali, Old School TV, KTFC, Channel 63, HD, at the NAB 2014. And we out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, that's, that's the format I had. Yeah, that was that was that was it was expensive. That's nice, huh? Very cool. Uh, I tell you, you can't find these no more. Be hard to find. Oh, I didn't stop. Oh, I'm out. Must be, I, must be out of time. I gotta tell you, you just took me back a few years. I just <laughs> I just went to a place where I used to.